On this episode of South Hawk Computing, should I rebuild my old spare computer? That's coming up next. Warning. The following video is performed by a trained professional. It is meant for educational purposes only. Please do not attempt to try anything you see here. Enjoy. Hey YouTube, Dan from South Hall Computing, and we're going to try something different uh, this week on the video. This is actually an old computer from 2005 from a customer. He basically wanted a machine to hook up to his television. He had this old spare computer. He wanted to do it at minimum cost. And yeah, we're going to see if we could try to get that challenge done. As it stands right now, this here is a custom built PC from, I think I said it already, 2005. The ASUS motherboard is the KAN-E. It's a socket 754 with an AMD Semperon 3400+. Plus. It only has 512 megs of RAM, an 80 gig IDE hard drive, and it's still running Windows XP. Obviously, uh, well, not all of you might know that, but Windows XP support has officially stopped by Microsoft, and we're gonna have to get that upgraded. So, we're just going to cut straight to the post and show you the difference and the upgrades and all the things we did after the fact. Okay, we're back. So, what did we end up doing here? Basically, this the owner of this PC here uh, donated some serial ATA drives that we had to obviously get installed as well as uh, install Windows 7 on here. And whatnot. But first thing we did right away, the fan that was on this door here was completely dead. We removed it and we also installed, we didn't put a fan on here, but what we did is we put one of these nice little air induct uh, cones, if you would, that uh, straps nice to the board. It's supposed to just pull the cool air from the outside of the case straight to the processor. Next, the fan uh, here was incorrectly seated. It was actually, <laughs> it was pulling air in when it should have been pulling air out. Uh, we upgraded the RAM to a gig and a half. It had 512 before. And here's the two other drives. And this fan here was also dead too. So we just ended up unplugging it. Um, but yeah, okay. So yeah, next up is uh, installing Windows 7 and getting this thing up and running and doing some video tests. So we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. As you can see, the machine's up and running. I wanted to show you a demo. Uh, we're actually gonna play a video and see how well it actually uh, runs. So here we go. Grab this guy here. Now what we're gonna do is show the task manager. Well, there you have it. In this particular example, it was actually worth rebuilding the machine. It was able to play his videos without any issue, which is great. You know, over here, we'd like to recycle, reuse as much as we can, and if, you know, it pans out, it pans out. If you like what you see in this video, obviously give it a thumbs up, and if you can, it would be uh, greatly appreciated if you subscribe to the channel. This is Dan from South Hawk Computing, and as always, until the next time.